it's a, it's just like a pumpkin spice latte. It's crazy. What is up gangsters? Today we are making pumpkin spice latte soup. Yes, it does sound like clickbait. First, we are going to make our spice blend, starting with toasting off some cinnamon for two to four minutes. Then we will toast off eight cloves. This white mark I point out is just before the clove starts to burn. Add the toasted spices to the grinder with 14 allspice berries, a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of black peppercorns, and several passes of nutmeg. Powderize the mixture, then we will add our powders. One tablespoon of ginger and one teaspoon of mace. Grind the powders together, then sift the mixture. Now onto the pumpkin. Cut its treacherous head off and remove the brains. Don't forget to save the seeds. Boil and salt the seeds, both help in toasting and tasting. Toast the pumpkin seeds on 350 until light and toasted, looking for a nice crunch and an easy chew. Add a tablespoon of pumpkin spice to the finished toasted seeds just as they come out of the oven, and optional pepper. Grab a spoon and scrape out the rest of the pulp. Add the pumpkin pulp to your Tan Classic Mini 2 for a basic pedicure. Use a chef's knife to peel the pumpkin. This part is optional as you can just section it for this application. I section into ribs, but if you want to just break it down into eight sections or even quarters, it will be the same. I'm removing the inner membrane. Complete overkill. Add rough cut and peeled carrots to the pumpkin. Salt, oil, and pepper the veg, then toss it to coat. Bake until the carrots are cooked. Hold in the oven until needed. Rough chop an onion and two or three ribs of celery, then sweat them off in a pot at least five liters in size. I add a tablespoon of ghee for flavor and help speed up the cooking. I fine chop a shallot and add it in. Completely optional, I thought it was a little shy of onion. Mince three cloves of fresh Peruvian garlic. I'm kidding, just use whatever you have. Thanks Stella for the fresh garlic. Add the garlic to the pot and stir. There's lots of heat and you don't want to burn the garlic. As soon as the garlic is golden brown, add two tablespoons of pumpkin spice blend and stir it in. Then add two tablespoons of optional turmeric. Add the cooked carrots and pumpkin and about three liters of veg stock. Place the roaster over a large burner and add stock to coat the bottom. Add a glass of white wine. Turn the burner on medium high. We're going to deglaze the roaster. This means that we're going to clean the pan with liquid to add back to the soup. Use a dry white wine for this, like Pinot Grigio. I think it's a perfect cooking wine. Keep scraping and stirring until it starts to boil and the pan is clean. Then add it to the soup. Simmer until all the veg is tender or just a couple of minutes to blend the flavors. Use a stick blender or bar blender to make the soup smooth. Clean the blender with a cup of milk. Bring the pot back up to a simmer to thicken and plate up. You can squeeze in some Lululemon at this point. Appreciated, but not necessary. I made a sour cream pumpkin spice foam. It's just four tablespoons of sour cream and a tablespoon of pumpkin spice. Add seeds and cilantro as garnish and you're set. Tune in to the end to watch me fail at my first attempt with the Whip It. So this is the pumpkin spice latte soup. It's pumpkin soup with foam. Everything all together, really, really, like, insanely crazy good. And you get a lot of the pumpkin spice flavor. Um, 
my idea was to mix a uh, old world and new world uh, pumpkin pumpkin spice flavors, as well as bring them together in a a typical squash soup. So when it all comes together, it's a uh, it's just like a pumpkin spice latte. It's crazy. <laughs> You could go one step further and go like straight up cream, um, but this is already really thick and really, uh, really tasty. Soon to be seen in every restaurant everywhere. Probably not. But there's no reason why you couldn't. Even if you don't have a uh, a whip it, um, you can just mix together the pumpkin spice and and sour cream together, and then uh, dollop on top or make one of those. Uh, what the hell are they called? Canals? I don't know. I can never make them. <laughs> hmm. There's not a whole lot to say. It's good, it's tasty. It'll fill you up. Um, and it's a good fall slash winter soup. Um, and you can do this pretty much the same method with pretty much any kind of uh, squash you come across um, except you can vary the ingredients and the spices but it's essentially the exact same technique alright thanks for watching guys peace out Welcome to the end screen. I like to keep my content clean. Subscribe if you like it. it. Keeps you warm like a double knit. Like it if you want more. Every Monday new stuff in store. Comment about what you liked. Come and tell me what you disliked. Peace out gangsters.